I have been promising you this clothing haul for a hot minute. In case you aren't caught up with the Landmas vlogs, I took a little trip. I took a little trip to London. I also did a big closet declutter and kind of mentioned that I have been doing quite a significant haul. There's been a little bit of shopping for, for this gal over the last couple weeks. It's supposed to be holiday, you know, Christmas present shopping, but I feel like there's always a little trickle of self shopping in there, isn't it? So this is like a collective haul, if you will, from like my Cyber Week shopping, the Bista Village shopping, and just general, you know, closet shopping. Instead of just aimlessly shopping, I have been going through my wardrobe and seeing what I've been missing, what key pieces I feel like I needed, if I had any missing stains, Staples. Then I did my big closet declutter and was able to like really narrow it down from that moment And that's kind of been the basis of this haul and also just uh, random frivolous shopping at Vista Village So here's my little collective haul for you guys I'm gonna start with the Vista Village pieces because if you've never heard of Vista Village It's by Kester Village, but it's Vista Village and it is a designer shopping outlet outside of London And it really was as amazing as everyone makes it out to be this place was like 50% off or more on designer goods. It just had a ton of old season things, some really beautiful staple products. Like it's just, it was really fabulous. And to be honest, I had been shopping with my little list, so I didn't go too crazy, but picked up a couple great things. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. First of all, went to Celine. This is random, this is not clothing, but I did get myself a little laptop case, which in case you're wondering, I have been traveling for years with my laptop and my Celine tote, okay? But my laptop just lives free in there. It is so, oh my God, my old laptop was so scratched, scratched to death, so much so that I just started covering it in stickers because it was really embarrassing. And every time I would travel, I'd be like, hmm, I really need to get a laptop case. And I just never did. I've just been living without a laptop case forever. Was this more of a splurge than it needed to be? Yes but I got it because it was on sale at Vista Village, like Celine on sale, yes please, and because it matches my bag. So it matches my everyday Celine bag. It's the same pebbled leather and I was like, oh my God, I just simply must have this. They had so much at Celine in particular. It hurt, it hurt to walk away. Um, but I did get myself a little laptop case, which was great. So that was my first Vista Village piece. Then you guys would have already seen these because I wore these to the fabulous Dior holiday event in Toronto, but I did pick myself up a pair of Jimmy Choo heels. The Jimmy Choo store sale was positively insane. I, oh, uh, like the discount was insane. My brain could not comprehend. Now a little backstory on this purchase before I show you, just so you know, this was a piece that was on my list of things that I wanted to add to my wardrobe and that was wholly inspired by Vanessa Rose Blair, who I met while in France on the edge of Ember Victoria trip, okay? She came out one night wearing this full white outfit and she had a pair of white pumps that matched her white glasses and she just looked so fabulous. And from that moment on, I added white pumps to my need to purchase for my closet list because it just looks so cute. And I was like, honestly, a white t-shirt paired with any pants and a pair of matching white heels? Like, yes, yes, I just needed it in my life. So I added that to my list, walked into Jimmy Choo, saw these bad boys, okay, right there. Look at these little patent leather pumps. They are stunning, they are plain, they are classic. And they were on sale. Jimmy Choo on sale. I was like, yes, yes, yes. And then I wore them to the Dior event with that black skirt. Did a little matching moment to my white top and I was like, oh, these are just gonna be an instant love, instant love in my closet. And they were just plain and perfect and they can go with everything. And I can wear them all year round. So this is like a perfect staple for my wardrobe. Got these at Vista Village, the Jimmy Choo store was crazy. And then the final piece that I got at Vista Village was in the Max Mara store and I didn't find a coat. That would have been a dream to find one of their like classic camel coats, but they did have this entire wall of shelving of knitwear and I was like, BRB. <laughs> Victoria and Susie were like in the change rooms trying on coats and like being good and vlogging and I was just doing a mad dash going through all these shelves <laughs> looking at all of the knitwear because there were so many options. There were so many turtlenecks. I didn't have room in my suitcase or else I could have gone and done a lot of damage in this uh, knitwear section. It was pretty wild, but I did end up picking this gorgeous crop turtleneck because it kind of reminded me of all these, you know, the totem sweaters that are popping around. I'm really obsessed with it, but I love this little black and white stripe moment. It's um, got a nice big wide sleeve and it's slightly cropped. And I thought this would just be perfect for my winter knitwear collection. I love it. And it's S Max Mara. I don't know what that means, but apparently they have a ton of different like versions of their Max Mara and like sister brands and under the umbrella brands. 
but if that means anything to anyone, S Max Mara. Just like a perfect staple piece of knitwear to throw on. I love that the neck like stays up. There's a lot of turtlenecks that you get that kind of like fall down and they give you a little drapey cowl neck, but I love the sleeves on this. Love that it's wide and it's a good length. It's a good length to wear out or to tuck in, which I think is great. And it's just so soft and pretty. And yeah, I wish I bought 5,000 more because they literally had these in every color, but really happy with the striped one. I think it's uh, a lovely addition to my winter wardrobe. For any of you who have ever been to Vista Village or you have plans to go to Vista Village, it really was as good as they say, and there was a lot. It was a pretty magical experience. So thank you so much to Victoria and Susie for bringing me along. If you missed those vlogs, I'm gonna list all three of our vlogs in the description box down below because they documented a lot more of the goods at Vista Village, but it was a really lovely shopping day and I was happy to have had that experience. I wanna mention this gorgeous, gorgeous green turtleneck that is just sitting bright and beautiful here in the corner. This is a piece from Uncle Studios. Shout out to Allegra and Sharin. I was so excited when they launched this turtleneck in this green color. You guys know if you follow my channel, I'm obsessed with green and adding pops of green into my wardrobe. So even though this wasn't necessarily like a staple piece that I needed, I just thought I love green so much, love a good turtleneck. And this was such a beautiful addition. This is a wool and cashmere blend turtleneck. Absolutely beautiful. I got this in a size medium, so it's quite oversized and I'm excited to wear it with like these new tight black pants vibe that I've been going with. Pop it with a pair of heels or some boots and I feel like that's just a perfect go-to winter everyday outfit. Absolutely love the color, love the fit and cheers to you Uncle Studios for making a fabulous collection and had to support a pal because that was a beautiful piece. So that was a new in sweater. It's super oversized but I love how cozy and casual it is. I think it's so Fun. I can kind of like swim in it, but be really comfy, chic as well. You know, it's a little bit staticky. Don't mind it. It's attaching to my crotch right now, but I love it and I love the color and it's super, super soft. Would I wear this as the outfit? I don't know. This was my intention, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll keep it more casual with like sneakers or something, but I love how big and baggy and oversized it is. I think it's so cozy for winter. And then let's go back to the list, the pieces that I wanted to add to my wardrobe. I did mention to you guys in my wardrobe declutter that I had been looking for like a cropped cream good cardigan and actually found one during Cyber Week. Dan and I had gone to the mall to grab something. I honestly don't remember what we were doing, but we did a little poke around because even following Cyber Week, so many of the stores still kept their sales on and we were like, ooh, there was Banana Republic and Club Monaco kind of next to each other in Pacific Center and we poked in, had no intentions. I wasn't looking for anything necessarily, but I did have this on my list and found myself this beautiful little cropped cardigan from Club Monaco and it was 40% off. This is a cashmere cardigan. They had 40% off the entire store, including their cashmere pieces at Club Monaco. I was trying to convince Dan, I'm like, babe, get some cashmere sweaters. They had like plain crew necks. He's like, no, I don't need any. I'm like, yes you do. Yes, you do, <laughs> because I needed this. What did I get this in? A medium, yeah, I got a size medium and it's that perfect, really nice, like bright, off-white, cream, ivory cardigan. And I, I, like, I like that it's cropped because I think it's gonna sit well with the pants. Felt like this was one of the pieces that was missing in my wardrobe, so I'm so happy to find it during a Cyber Week sale too. <gasps> Just all the sales, all the discounts up in here. So that was the new addition, guys. I found the piece I was looking for. I'm so happy. Here's the cutie little cropped cardigan. It's so soft. I love the color. I like that it has a little bit of shape to it with the cute collar. I love the color of the buttons. And I think it's just um, a perfect little throw on easy piece and I could wear it all buttoned up, which I think is really nice and very sophisticated, classic looking. Actually, I love this, love this little fit. They're just rolling up to a lunch meeting with my little cream cardi. I love it. I think it's so cute. It feels very grown up, doesn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. Another item that was on my to buy list, I really wanted to find a pair of cargo pants. I know the cargo pant has been making such a comeback and I've been so happy about it because I love comfort dressing. And I had done a TikTok haul over the summer, early fall, I don't remember the exact date, but I had found some cargo pants at Zara and I was like, woohoo, I found some cargo pants. And then a lot of the comments were like, no, return them immediately, like mine ripped, the quality is terrible, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> so I returned the cargo pants 
from Zara and I've kind of kept my eyes peeled for a little while. So ended up finding this pair. It's kind of like a canvas material from the Frankie shop, but I bought it on net a -Porte because the Frankie shop, when you order from the Frankie shop, their shipping is so bad. <laughs> I'm talking like months. It takes months sometimes for the products to get there. So I'm kind of until they like figure out their shipping to Canada, I just can't um, deal with it. So I bought these on net a -Porte. I haven't tried them on yet. So we're going to try them on together in a moment, but just this like really loose 90s inspired baggy cargo pant in this lovely neutral color. Fingers crossed that they fit. Let's give them a try. Okay guys, listen, listen. I'm a little bit in between sizes always. It's tough because mediums are usually a little bit too big and then the small is too tight. So I often find myself having to get things tailored. However, how sick are these pants? I kind of love how like baggy and Y2K and like 90s they feel. Like tell me this isn't a cool outfit. I would, I would happily rock up to an event like this with the little white heels. You see what I mean too? The white heels were just like a necessary addition for me for the wardrobe. So anyway, yeah, these are a little bit, a little bit loose. I could definitely get them tightened at least at the waist to be like that a little bit, but I don't hate how big they are at the bottom. I actually think that's super fun, really cool, love keeping. Oh my God. Oh my God. We be vibing in our cargo pants. I'm thrilled. <laughs> and then a few more items that were on my to buy list, my closet wish list, if you will. Um, I had gone through my entire jeans collection while doing my closet declutter. And I know I didn't really vlog any of this, but if you've looked at my Depop and the things that are for sale, you'll have seen a lot of jeans listed there. So I kind of went through and the one thing that I thought I was missing that I see a lot in my like you know, outfit inspo was just a really clean, high-waisted, wide leg pair of jeans. Like if I wanted to dress up an outfit, but still be wearing jeans, like all my jeans are quite casual, quite loose, or I have like a really skinny pair of like ankle cut jeans. I didn't have like a nice, I don't know, like <laughs> my usual term for this is like a classy lady pair of jeans, but I just wanted like a nice dark wash wide leg pair of jeans that could look really dressy and still be as like comfy and casual jeans as I wanted it to be. So I was on the hunt for that, saw these on matches. It was also part of their cyber week sale. So I did get these on a discount. Um, and it's from this brand called Another Tomorrow. We're gonna try them on together, but when I saw the picture of this, like the item picture of this on the website, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I needed. It's like just dressed up jeans. And this is a really stretchy material, so I feel like they'll be so comfortable. I really, really hope that they fit and felt like this would fill a void of some dressed up jeans in my wardrobe. So it's like jeans and trousers, kind of a little two in one moment with these. So let's try them on, see if they fit. Here's the vibe I was kind of going for with these pants, these jeans. I love how like very dressed up they look, very, very corporate chic, if you will. I size down in these actually, because they're quite stretchy, but I think I could even get a little bit of the length taken up because they're quite long. I'm in my full, lovely little Jimmy Choo heels and I think I could even still get a little bit more space, but I just love the seam down the front. I think it makes it look so dressed up and stunning. And yeah, just paired with like a casual white t-shirt or a tank like this, I think just makes it look so chic. And again, they're super, super stretchy, really happy with how these fit. I think it was just a piece that was missing in my wardrobe, so. This next piece is also from Matches from that same Cyber Week sale. I think I ended up getting this for like 40% off, I don't remember, but it's a frame top and it's this beautiful like cropped blouse jacket-esque. I don't know if any of you guys will remember this, but I had a very similar piece to this way back in the day, like years ago from Aritzia. And it's one of those pieces that I have regretted selling on my Depop ever since because I actually find myself wanting to have some kind of like cropped, nice, clean jacket like this a lot. And I saw this was like, yep, that's the one. That is she. I got this in a size small because it's quite oversized. Again, we're going to have to try it on together and have a moment. But yeah, really love, really love the cropped life. I don't know if you guys noticed that from my Instagram and like things I wear to events and whatnot, but really into the cropped stuff and thought this was a beautiful addition. And again, got it on sale. And here is the little cropped shirt jacket. Honestly, it's still quite oversized. I'm not too sure how I feel about it. It's like quite drapey at the back, but I just put it on to try for size. I do think it's a little bit too oversized. I don't know. What do you guys think? I could also do up the, the buttons as well, but um, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I think I'd want it to be like a little bit more slim. What do you guys think? Tell me, 
Tell me your thoughts on the little frame cropped jacket, but that's how it fits. Again, quite big and I did size down. I got this in a size small. So I think if I'm not loving it on, then that's my answer. <laughs> now the final piece that I picked up is this gorgeous little black waistcoat from Zara. I got this in a size small. It's a black waistcoat. I'm just really obsessed with the waistcoat life. A lot of them can be very, very expensive and I've been very kindly gifted some pieces in the past, but wanted a black one to be able to dress up my black trousers, wear this with jeans, whatever. I just felt like I needed to get the black one because I have a fabulous gray set from Reformation. Love it so much. And I'm just really into the waistcoat. Love that it's just here to stay and keeps coming out in a ton of different styles and got this fabulous, really nice, clean, black one from Zara and I love it. Kind of obsessed with how this looks with these pants too. Like that's kind of a sick fit. You see what I mean? Like it's just an easy throw on, instant dressed up look. I love that the waistcoats are here in the forefront in tailoring and dressing. I know they've like never really gone away, but like in everyday style, thrilled, thrilled to have them uh, as an addition in my wardrobe. And I actually really love this outfit. Yes to these, yes, yes, yes. I also forgot to mention that I love the little white buttons on these pants. Sorry, let me just throw that in there. Uh, but yeah, there's a little waistcoat, super cute from Zara. And it'll go with any of my black pants or any pants at all. And you just instantly dress it up. Love, love. All right, guys, so that's everything for my clothing haul. Those are a few new in bits that I have added into my wardrobe, a bit of my cyber week shopping, and also my Vista Village haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything that I'm able to find, I will obviously link in the description box down below. And if you want to shop my closet, I've still got a ton of things that I need to add to my Depop, so I'm gonna make a point to add it before this video goes live, but I wanted to show you a little bit of my, my shopping adventures. The damage has been done, and uh, thank you for sharing in this moment with me. I'll see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye!